Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place Persona 5. Today, I actually am kind of at a crossroads here because I'm not sure which to do first. Now, I want to go work at the Beef Bowl place because that seems like it's going to unlock a confidant for me or at least lead to locking, unlocking a confidant for me. I need to hang out with Sajero because I want to make that beautiful curry. I would love to order uh, Becky to come clean my house. As weird as that sounds, uh, but I might not be able to actually because I noticed here that she's not available as a confidant, so she might not actually be able to. I'm gonna try because apparently she's gonna be able to save me a lot of time in the future. So let's call her. Oh, it's you. I work on Friday and Saturday evenings, so you should request me then. If I end up working other than Friday and Saturday evenings, I'll contact you. Okay, see you. That solves a lot of my problems. Uh, Sajiro, are you about to rank up with me? You got time right now? Maybe. You're not. So you know what? Next time then. Maybe tomorrow. Let's go to the beef bowl place and uh, work there and see if that works. Oh god, this is gonna this is gonna require me to remember things, right? Well, I have a pen and a piece of paper next to me. And my computer. I could just type on a pen. Oh. It wouldn't really matter, so hopefully it's not too bad. Let's work. That was the right place, right? To be <laughs> I'm like working at the convenience store. He's not here. Yikes, a lot of customers just came in. You're gonna be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. Fuck. One medium curry bowl. Where's my paper? No, we're writing this down. I'm writing this down. M. Curry. M. B. B. Q. M. Nato? I don't know what that is. Large. B. B. Q. All right, stay calm and remember the orders. What did the first person order? He ordered a medium curry bowl. Yes, that's right. What did the second person order? He ordered a medium barbecue bowl. Yeah, they did say that. The third customer was the medium, not your bowl boy. And the fourth customer was a large barbecue. I better get a raise for this. Yeah, you're right. That was the order. All right, now you just have to make everything and serve them. Please don't make me choose them. Oh, there he is. You appeared to have a difficult time there. Can you ask your manager to hire more people? You are extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in the workplace. That's concerning. Hmm, I should remember this. Well then, I'll, see I'll you leave again. my payment here. Thank you for the food. Wasn't that that politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was working, uh, worried about employees in the, the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. We should go to the station square again sometime soon. So, we have an hmm, in. Good work. Oh, good work. It seems there were a lot of customers today, but you handled it well on your own. On you. I paid you a little extra today. Good work, keep it up. How much extra? That's not too bad, wasn't it? It's in the standard pay, like, 3200 so he gave me, like, a 1600 bonus? That's not bad. It might it might have been 30, uh, 3600 that's the standard. You are amazing today, dealing with so many orders. I'm sure it was rough, but I think you handled it all quite proficiently. <laughs> Rank up? Oh, it is! All right. Dope. Mm. Phew, well, I guess we should go home soon. So if it's raining out, I'm gonna get a hot coffee because that doubly increases my knowledge and works on my guts. And I need to increase both of those, especially my knowledge because I don't want to get bad grades. And I can read today. Oh. I never went to the library, did I? Oh my god, did I go to the library? Oh, maybe. I bought a lot of books, that's right. 
I did go to the library too, so this increases guts. What's this one? Knowledge. That's probably good too. Learn the charm to hook up with someone. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Efficiency. Uh, introduces great parks for spending a quiet weekend. So, I don't know, locations. Kindness. Uh, fashion magazine for girls with unique taste. That's right up my alley. Let's go with... The Gallant Rogue or Med Jed Menace. Because we need knowledge, but we need guts. We need knowledge, and knowledge is hard to come by. Well, let's go with Med Jed Menace, Menace then. Oh, it's a magazine. Good or evil? The threat of Medjed can be felt all over the world. What are your thoughts? There's danger afoot in the internet world too, it seems. I mean, yeah. I, I, have you used Google without any filter? Hey. Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. I have, because it went black and then came back. Ooh, might be a question today. How many days was it before the change of heart to... Question? Oh, yes. I've actually gotten into fishing lately. Although, it's just a pond fishing. It's just pond fishing from time to time. I can't go sea fishing because I get seasick easily. So, for my dream of being a sailor. Uh, so much for my dream of being a sailor. Oh, right. When people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal sediments through force, for some reason they ended up getting romanticized. That's a totally legit point. Now then, Noah Kuhn. What is the answer? Who was the pied who, a pirate who said that he hid his treasure in a certain place just before he was executed? Uh, William Kidd, Captain Hook, John Silver. Captain Hook's not a real guy, right? I think William the William Kidd is. I don't know about John Silver. Let's see how right I was. I would go with William Kidd if I wasn't going to use the network. Oh, sweet! That's right! The answer is William Kidd, also known as Captain Kidd. God damn it. it yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Kidd was a merchant who had raised money from aristocrats. Uh, he should have been subduing pirates, but in order to turn his commission into a profit, he ended up becoming a pirate himself. That's right, praise me. Give me all the knowledge. Nice going. I was, I was kind of hoping for a rank up there. I do need to work on uh, kindness and charm as well, because I need to get those up to uh, rank 3 to do the Big Bang Burger Challenge again. Uh, there's an island in Kyushu where kids' treasure is said to be sleep. Can we go there? Yep. Secret dungeon, search for kids' secret treasure. Is there an X on the island? Because I heard X marks the spot. I wonder what that's based off, fact or mm. fantasy. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I, I don't have, I only have one quest because I, I believe someone mentioned that treasure demons show up in mementos when, ah, oh, damn, you want to hang out too? I found a place. My little guinea pig. Ah, here's the conundrum here. It's like, I want to raise my stats, but I also want to raise my confidence, and I got two people that want to hang out with me right now. That means they're probably going to get a rank increase. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Ryuji, what do you give me next rank? You give me nothing. What is this? Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. That sounds dope. Dr. Death, what do you give me? I, never mind. I'm not even gonna say what I thought that back alley doctor said. Uh, immunization adds support items to the inventory of the clip at the clinic. I haven't really bought anything from you. I guess it's a nice thought though. So you're close to rank. Well, you're gonna be rank five, and you're gonna gain something. Ryu, you are rank four, and you're not gonna gain anything for rank five. Ahn's already rank 5. I don't know how I did that. I guess, well, clearly I just hung out with her more. I was told I should hang out with uh, Mishima as well, but he actually hasn't been available for me to hang out with. Let's do... 
Ryu because he's here? Yeah, but like, yeah, no, let's do Ryu. Hi, dog. What's up? Yeah, you know, I'm really not digging all this sitting around crap. I don't, I don't care. I know you found a spot. We're free to do whatever we want. How about we head over there? Sure. Let's go. I do have a card for him. I'm pretty sure I have a card for everyone. And I didn't need one for Moon. I forgot that Mishima actually just levels up when you hang out with him. And apparently the Sun one also does that too, so I can save a slot there. Unless the Sun or Moon one is really good. This has gotta be it. Here we are, Protein Lover's Gym. It's paper visit, so you don't gotta worry about any bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kinda crappy, but they got tons of variety. Plus, it's a it's real damn cheap. Totally worth, even without a pool or hot tub. By the way, oh yeah, you bring your stuff? A towel? Protein powder? <laughs> yeah, protein power? <laughs> Hell yeah, man, if you want to beef up, you gotta... Wait, that ain't it. <laughs> We're talking about spare undies. I mean, I'm just gonna go home after this. Oh, then again, I might be hanging out with someone at night, so maybe not. Getting back to your sweaty, getting back, getting back into your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Oh, but don't go getting your hopes up. No way, I'm gonna let you use mine. Wanna get going? What your undies? I don't want your undies, man. We're not that close. Also, like when I go to the gym, I just like go home and then change. Like I'll change at home, go to the gym, work out, drive home all sweaty and smelly, get my car a complete mess. And then I'll shower and change. Cough, wheeze. Phew. My form's coming back, but I don't got any stamina. Cough. Sakamoto? Whoa. Uh, Ikita Senpai? Gornin? Gornin. Is that like good morning, but like not? <laughs> Don't you mean good morning? <laughs> You're as elegant as ever, Sakamoto. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I've been studying my words and shit. Sounds like it. Of course you have. <laughs> oh, and you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I'm already, I've already graduated, remember? Hmm. I haven't seen you before. Were you on the track team? Hmm. He's uh, a friend. By the time he showed up, the track team was already, well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Uh, I'm managing. How about you, Senpai? You still running? I actually joined my university's ta track team. you think I would have quit entirely after what happened. Uh, about that, I'm real sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. I s was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I was just resigned myself to Kamashiro's will. That's because you needed him to write your letter of rec, right? You were just looking out for your future, but I still managed to F it up anyways. Hamashito clearly never intended to write in my uh, letter of recommendation. You were just his excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. Uh, so in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Senpai. I've always regretted not doing more to protect you guys, but I heard some good news recently. The Sujin track team is being reinstated. For real? <laughs> Stereo. I mean, Kamashita confessed all confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the school got the old team together and told them they want to try starting it up again. Nobody told me about that. Huh, odd. The room has got as far as me, and I'm not even a student anymore. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you? Anyways, I heard you're going to get Mr. Yamauchi as their new advisor. Huh? Yamauchi? Hold up, that Yamauchi? Yep, the one who was basically Kamashita's lapdog. Oh, sounds like this is going to work out perfectly. Apparently he volunteered. He's re really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. He is. You know, now that the team is being re reinstated, there's no need for any blood, bad blood, right? Why don't you go talk to them? I'm sure they would could use someone with your passion. Yeah. Hmm. So the track team's coming back. Good for them. You seem conflicted. Do you want to rejoin? You're done with them? Do you want to rejoin? You seem conflicted. Do you want to rejoin? I don't know. 
For real though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Nako guy and them can start training again, but I'm still worried about their advisor, Yamauchi. He's basically like a mini Kamashita. He's short. So he's an asshole. Basically. He always yells at us at practice, but then he'd be a huge kiss-ass when our parents were around. Ah, I can't believe a moron like that's going to be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach PE. He's got to be up to something. I'll do some research. There's a chance I'm going to need your help, too, okay? You'd be free to lend me a hand if I need it, yeah? I'll be counting on you. I guess I will be. I feel like my bond with the UG is growing deeper. Alright, so I got An and Ryu up to level 5, or rank 5. Kind of probably should try to keep those guys even. Oh, not even really even, but they seem to be learning the same type of skills. Which I'm assuming because they're party members. Alright, we don't got time to be messing around here anymore. Let's head home. Wait, I got a shower first. Yeah, you can go without me, man. Because, like, even Morgana's learning pretty much the same skills as everyone else. Just kind of slower because I can't hang out with him? You're back. Hey. I'm thinking the guy who approached you at the beef bowl shop was a politician, right? He apparently gives speeches at Shibuya Station, but you can't judge a book by its cover. Another box came for you. What did I order? Wild Clogs. Sunday, right? I ordered that before the end of last episode. Wild Clogs. Wild? Resist fear. Okay. Got a lot of money. I'm gonna need it if I'm gonna freaking hire Becky. Alright, so I gotta go talk to uh speech giving man. Was he here? Yeah, he's over what are you? I thought you were dressed up as a rollerblade dude. Like from back here, he looks like a guy wearing a helmet with tie-dye pants. I'm like, oh that's clearly a hipster roller like a hippie rollerblader. No, no, it's not. Gonna party till the sunrise. <laughs> okay, maybe it is. <laughs> uh, God, all right. Hello? Please. Do you want to sign a contract with me? There have been far too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train incident, mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school with corrupt teachers, and we have yet to discover the truth of it all? The apathy uh, that Permeet's uh, society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? Absolutely not, but all right. Are you a student? I'm delighted to cap uh, captivate the interests of someone your age. Hmm? hmm. Have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop recently, or before. You have a lot of per uh, uh, perseverance ugh, for a young person. If you'd like. Well, if you're interested, I could use your help. I want, want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't afford to offer a job to a student. I was looking, I was thinking you could learn some things if you if you chose to attend a few of my speeches, though. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather get paid, but all right, let's do it. Really? That would be helpful indeed. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? You're a student from Sujin Academy, hmm? Nice to meet you. I am Tora no Suki Yoshida. I used to be the member of the Diet. The f what is that? The Diet? A member of the Diet. But no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. I've sided with the, the best politician, apparently. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Well. well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Sure? Oh Everyone. my god. What does that sign say? If anyone can translate that for me. The lines of which is uh the lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However, however, even in this modern day and age, it is imperative that we act at our in our the best interest of all. A world where it is acceptable acceptable to trample on rights of others for your own benefits. A world where the young exists only to be exploited. Okay, 
I'm glad that last line's in there because I started getting really worried that I, I actually sided with an asshole. I'm like, is he saying we need a world like that? No. Is a world we need uh, that must be changed. Hmm. Easy for you to say. Old timers like me have our hands full taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's a no name. He probably won't get too far. Nothing's going to change. We'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe politician blabbing about? He isn't even affiliated with the party. How about you just leave matters of state in the capable hands of the liberal co-prosperity co party? As a name, you mustn't base your decisions on whom to support merely according to the party they belong to. I like this guy. Oh, just shut up already. You're just a washed up politician. Oh, that hurt him. You can hear it in the audio. If I am chosen to represent the will of the people, that I am fully prepared to, in the best interest of all. Ha! <laughs> Save the blathering for when you get elected, if you get elected. Thank you. Uh, thank you. you. That is all for today. Well, what did you think of my speech? Uh, the best of all, I don't remember much. Well, the heckling, the best interests of all. I'm glad. Indeed, you failed the same. Such a, as, as I am, I'd like to believe that I'm capable of moving a uh, giving a moving speech. However, there are times like today when the audience has a difference of opinion on the topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? You have my support. Yes, I agree with them. You won't get elected? You have my support? Thank you. Thank you. It's encouraging to know that my message has won you over. Besides, I have grown, grown quite accustomed to these type of reactions. So I'm wasting my time, is that what you're telling me? Although, I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. It's not. It's not. You should probably try to change it somehow? It's not always easy. I know, that's like, stupidly, stupidly blind and naive to think that people will change overnight. But, work towards change for the better. Yeah! Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. I think I can learn a lot by listening to Yoshida's speeches. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Dope, see you later. Did we not get a... What? I am thou and thou art I? What? No, go back! I want a confidant! I wasted my night! Yeah, okay, so five days, six days? I didn't see the thing of uh, want to head out. Yeah, you want to study? No way, man. Nope. <laughs> that's one option that's a, that's a definite no. School's enough for studying. Let's exercise, man. Are we going to the gym during the school day? I think that is a yes. Who wants to hang out? It's plans for today. Can I still hang out with you? No. So An wants to hang out. Is that right? Who's here? That's On. Who's here? That's the doctor. All right, let's see. On, do you get anything for your rank six? You do. Well, yeah, okay, you get the pretty much the same thing as Ryu. They're just named differently. Yeah, um... Let's go to the doctor. Because the doctor said that I'm a guinea pig and I need to take medicine. We could do An, but, or An, but... Well, the doctor asked first. And if An really wanted to hang out, she would have texted me yesterday. God dang it. Allergies are so annoying. How are your allergies? I have a good medicine for them. Just one dose should take care of them, in theory. <laughs> uh, I would like to take mystery medicine. In that case, my little guinea pig, there's something I want to test out today. I feel I can come closer with Takimi thanks to the death persona, Mandrake. And our bond's gonna get stronger. Yeah, let's do it! Please well then, the please head into the examination room. <sighs> okay. That's all for today. If you're feeling okay, you can go home now. Really? Hello? 
Although Dr. Takimi's clinic of internal medicine. What, again? That's well, that ship's already sailed, so. <sighs> huh, what a pain. You remember that girl from the other day? The chief of staff, uh, Oyamada's patient? Sure. Her dad's been bringing her here to be treated, even though I referred them to another hospital. I even told them about the medical error I made. They trust you. They trust you. It was just, I was just a quack, though. Ah, self-esteem issues. The medical error was well documented. Everyone in my field knows about it. I led the development of a new drug for an incurable illness called Crawford Endes disease. Although I wasn't the one who administered the medicine, it was the cause of the error. With Crawford's, certain cells uh, indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. When it reaches the muscles, the patient slowly begins to die. There wasn't, there hasn't been much progress made on it, partly because there hasn't been many cases of it. I worked with a pharmaceutical company that had reached the final stage of production, but one day I was suddenly removed from my position. That chief of staff, Oyamada, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. I don't know if he wanted the glory of developing a new drug or to become richer and famous, but he made a careless mis he made careless mistakes and rushed completion so he could use it on a patient named Miu Miwu. Oh uh, no, wait, there's an A there. Miwa. Miwa Chan had a reaction and lapsed into critical condition. The chief panicked and laid the blame on me. So it wasn't your fault at all. Why are you like killing yourself about this? Miwa Chan and her family resented me. Okay, I mean that could have a, have an effect. No matter what I say. As what I said, I couldn't change how they felt about me. I had no idea. I had no idea. It's not too late. I had no idea. I mean... Yeah, I had no idea. I was really hoping for points there. Well, that doesn't matter. The development of the medicine was suspended, so I had no reason to stay at the hospital. At least now I can keep working as a general practitioner on my own terms with my guinea pig. That's the new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is in the final stage of testing. It searches for those cells that take the offensive and destroys them upon detect detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease. Probably. That's good. One will That's good! <laughs> Thank you for the points! I was starting to get worried I was going to get nothing. You have a lot of faith in me. Thank you, my little guinea pig. Look, I have a soft spot for punk goth chicks, all right? You better not flake out on me this late in the game. I'm inching closer, or inching closer to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. In exchange, I can offer you medicine for at a special price. I'm counting on you, guinea pig. Aw, oh, we have pet names. She's Dr. Death and I'm guinea pig. I should probably check out the shop. All right. You know, <laughs> I should probably check at the shop, see what she's selling now. Mm. Now, what should I do about that girl and her dad? Being mean and scaring them hasn't worked. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of uh, nu nuisance. It's stressing me out. Oh, sorry, that's all I wanted to talk to you about. You can go home now. I feel like cooperating with Shady Trade <laughs> Clinical Trial has increased my guts. I love the thought bubbles. <laughs> they're, they're actually... They're, they're bluntly right. honest sometimes. Bye. Okay, thanks for your hard work. I didn't do much. I just drank some random crap you gave me. And I'm probably not dying. Maybe. I could be. Ah, you're back. Hey. I wonder if that Yoshida guy is giving a speech in Shibuya again today. Is that my cue to go back and try to get a confidant thing with him? I'm gonna assume yes. All right. Well, we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.